Hello there, and welcome to Swinging Steve's Bargain and Beer Review. I'm out in the outside again. I've actually got some daytime light for once. It's a Sunday afternoon, and the weather's kind of windy. It's nice, it's sunny. Bit cold, bit wintry, just in the garden at the moment. And you know, when you've not been, you've not really been in the garden since the summer, and everything's just sludgy and messy, and there's leaves everywhere, and this compost bin's just overflowing with crap. And yeah, so it's one of them days today. Um, so here we go. But. This is a beer from the summer. I picked this up in the summer with the intention of reviewing it in the summer. I've not. And I've not seen anybody else review these beers yet. Now, Aldi uh, sort of rebranded re rebranded their 500ml uh, sort of real ale range. And it used to, and it's still the Harper's Brewing Company, but they've sort of changed it all. Now, this is called American IPA 5%. Not tried it yet. I've got nothing, I've got no idea what it's like. Uh, it comes in at £1.19 a bottle. It might be one pound nine p a bottle. Actually, I'll have to. It's been that long since I bought them. It might be one pound nine p, which I think it might be. I think it's one pound nine p a bottle. Um, five hundred ml bottles. Yeah. So they've rebranded it. There's none of the old stuff like Wild Bill's IPA. There's none of the um, Medusa Ruby Ale. I think they've all been rebranded. So I've got a feeling this might just be another. This might be Wild Bill's IPA, but we are different label. I'm not sure. I have not seen anybody review these beers yet. To be honest with you. So let's give it a whirl. Let's see what it's about. Hope everyone's having a nice Sunday. A big shout out to all my followers for following my channel and supporting it and leaving comments. Fantastic. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the communication with people. It's great to see. That's what the cat looks like. I love people's comments. love commenting back. See what people's opinions are. And please feel free to be critical. There's lots of people that are quite critical on my channel telling me things they like, don't like in particular. Especially if I've... Um, Someone criticised me for <laughs> drinking cheap lager out of a wine glass. <laughs> Saying it looks a bit poncy. Well, I guess it did really. So I've tried to I tried to got, get beer glasses. I've got quite a few beer glasses now actually. I'm starting to collect them a little bit so we'll break them quickly. This is Farmers. Those of you who live in York will be familiar with the Farmers Brewing um, Brewery. So here we go. Here she pours. She pours a nice sort of deep amber colour. Like you'd expect American IPA. Maybe a West Coast IPA to look. And on the, on the aroma, it's fragrant. It's got a slight floral note, but it does reminisce British hops, that for me. Sort of getting a bit of an earthy, edgy hop. But then there's a little bit, a little bit of a jamminess behind it. It's a little bit metallic. These are all brewed by Marsdens. So even though it says Harper's Brewing Company, it is brewed in the Mar in the Mar on Marsden premises. God, Marsdens own everything now, or Carlsberg or whatever they're called. It's a bit of a shame when you go into and you see all these brewers. When you go, when you go in, you want to get a real ale, and you go, "Oh, full is brilliant," and they're owned by somebody else. You got you got to um, I don't know. You, you pick up uh, uh, pff, what's the other brewery now? So like even Witchwood, you think, "Oh, brilliant, Witchwood." And they're they're owned by Marsdens. Uh, Ringwood owns by Marsdens. Uh, you know, and oh, Green King. You know, you, you, what is it? Um, Old Speckled Then you pick that up, you think, "Brilliant, Old Speckled Then brewed by Green King." So it, it, it's a shame. And, and it's surprising how many of these breweries now, like, it's like Jennings, all their stuff's Marsdens as well, I think. But anyway, the name still exists, even if the breweries don't anymore. So, we've got, it's, it's, it's petered down to like, I don't know, half a finger's with a light fluffy head. You're getting a jamminess behind it, definitely, a little bit marmalade even. It does re resemble maybe a West Coast IPA. So let's see what she tastes like. to it um, it's got a nice balance of malt and, and hop I think maybe 10 5 10 years ago this if this if someone had said oh we brewed a really cheap um, West Coast IPA people would drink that and go wow that's great in this day and age I think it's a little bit thin I think it's a little bit lackluster in no it's not lackluster it's pleasant this is a nice enough beer and I would buy this again I'm gonna just put it out there I know I've only had a mouthful of it it's got some it's got some lacing on there Um, it's got this slightly stringent um, bitterness which you get from the Aldi stuff actually um, ultimately if Aldi are to compete with the other supermarkets I think they need to up the game a little bit I think their beers are their lager range brilliant and their imitation lager is brilliant the better than the beers are trying to imitate but um yeah, this is, it's just good. 
It's worth one pound nine a bottle. I think there's a combination of British shops in here. I'm getting a bit of a hedge away. Woodiness to it, but then you're almost getting you're getting the um, a sharpness from a, a, a an American hop. There's, there's got to be American hops in this because on the flavour profile you're getting a bit of orange, you're getting a little bit of grapefruit, and you're getting sort of like a little bit of like lemon zestiness. But then it's the after flavour of the beer of, of the of the it's like the afterness of it. <laughs> that makes sense. The after sort of the after burn of the beer is a little bit sort of disappointing because there's this nice hop there's a nice malt profile in this beer it's, the view, it, it's very caramelly you know it's like caramelised fruit but then you're left with this sort of like stringent hoppiness on the back end I'd rather pay an extra 20p a bottle and it tastes a bit better to be honest with you this struggle with the hoppy beers ultimately someone commented on this actually on my YouTube John Paul Paul, somebody or other, I can't remember his second name now, commented the other day, and uh, yeah, I think ultimately that's what the problem is. Hmm. It's got a sharpness. It's God, it's it's like it's like clawing away a little bit at your taste buds like you would expect a West Coast IPA to do, but you're not getting that full balance of flavours as well on top of that. It's just like the sharpness is coming through, if you know what I mean. But it's nice colour, and for one pound nine, I think it's worth I think it is on the money, to be honest with you. But it's nothing special. I won't rush out and buy it again, but I would buy it if someone said, right, to pick up a few beers while you're from uh, from uh, from Aldi, I'm just gonna have a few drinks tonight, and this might be one of the ones I pick up. I've got this one to review, so if anyone I've not seen this before, this went in their old range either. A coffee stout. I've reviewed their toffee one. I reviewed that just after last Christmas. The invasion of the ivy behind me. Yeah. Yeah, the head's got that sort of slight tan colour to it that you get with like your West Coast IPA. I think it's I think it's alright. I think it's on the money. Uh, let's see what it's got to say for itself. It says biscuit and spice balance with big hop citrus fruit aromas. Right, so you do get some aroma on that. It's, it's slight metallic, I must admit. Like it's been put through a big it might, I'll tell you what it reminds me it reminds me a little bit of sh a shipyard IPA how that smells at the moment it's, it reminds me of that if you have a shipyard IPA it's similar to this it's a little bit of a it's like a weaker version of that I think not that much weaker though yeah, and you're getting a spiciness actually yes I didn't mention the spiciness but you're getting a spiciness so it has described it pretty accurately biscuit and spice mm. yeah it's sort of like imagine those sort of like like a spicy ginger biscuit. That, that's what it tastes like. Mm. Yeah. Fishing it round. And you're still getting lacing on it, on the glass. There's still some quality. I've brought some life back into that. By swishing it round, I've made it quite flat. Uh, but I don't mind that because I'm not really into gassy beers anyway. American IPA from Harper's Brewing Company, Aldi. What would I give that? For one pound. For one pound nine a, a bottle. It's that bitterness I don't like on the back end. That's what I'm not keen on. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I'm just giving it a 7 out of 10. It's just a good beer, I think, for that price. Just. I would buy it again. I wouldn't rush to buy it again, though. Um, if I was strapped for cash. 
a beer that probably tastes quite nice cold as well. You could probably get away with this quite cold and it's still the flavours are still coming through quite well. Might hide some of that sharp bitterness as well. Um so yeah. Seven out of ten for me. I've been swinging Steve. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next review.